So, we talked about hashtag balance last video. What's irritating you lately, Ryan? I'm just going to talk about what pisses me off. That one's pretty long. It's very long. So I'm going <laughs> to talk about what pisses me off as a coach. What I need from an athlete to be successful. What an athlete needs to be successful. Well, I'll tell you what. Number one is the success that you have off stage in your everyday life is definitely going to translate to how successful you are on stage. There is no coincidence that all my athletes that have the best jobs, the best home lives, are also the ones that perform the best on stage. It's because these people are normal people with normal lives. And they realize that the fitness industry is an amazing industry. This industry has given me everything. I met my wife through it. It's just, it's been a blessing. But I also understand that that came along with a lot of hard work outside of this that made this possible. If you got no car, you can't come see your coach. If you got no money, you can't buy chicken. Or pay your coach. You can't pay your coach. You can't afford your supplements. You're stressing out. How are you going to be able to afford to prep? How are you going to have your head in the right area it needs to be? Cortisol levels from stress are one of the most damaging things to a physical body. Right? And how many of you guys know that if your head is all turned around, you're focusing on Girls. your girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend, your, your new girlfriend, plus your ex-girlfriend, whatever it is that you guys are dealing with, all of a sudden, it, it's not a coincidence that I notice all those people with physiques, they start to fade, right? Because this is, we're talking about pro level here, guys. I'm talking about competing as a, in the pro level. So, focus. Focus on making sure that when you go into your prep, that you have the resources to actually execute that prep properly. Right? I, I can't handle it. You, then what, what always happens, though, Taylor, with those athletes that they, they don't send their progress picture? I ask them, I email them, I send them texts. Hey, man, where's your photos? No photos. No check-ins. Come down to the gym. Your gravity fitness is the gym designed solely for my competitors to come train and check in with me every day. 24-7 email and text support, so there's no excuses that you can't even make it in or you're not local. Now what happens, a lot of people say, yeah, I messaged you and you didn't get back to me. I didn't get back to you because you don't care. Because I've learned a long time ago through coaching people, the day I care about your prep more than you do is the day I back up. Now what does that mean? Well, that means you don't send your photos, you don't show up in person, I tell you what to do, you come back to me six weeks later, you have done nothing, it's obvious. If you guys don't know this about me, I can look at you and tell you if you're doing what I told you to do or not. This is an addition to your life, folks. This is not your entire life. Let me explain to you guys something. When I was competing at the peak of my bodybuilding career, I was a single father raising my daughter completely by myself. At that same time, I opened Zero Gravity Fitness, my first gym, at 20 years old. I had a full-time job outside of the gym to pay the bills to build this gym, to build it to what it is now today. And I was still competing in winning shows. I was prepping for those shows broke. 20 years old, just started a new business. I have a brand new daughter, one year old, and I'm trying to compete. I don't have any money. For $6 a day, I can get 300 grams of protein and all the carbs I need. How much did your latte cost? Stop buying the Starbucks. Get here, focus, get your priorities straight. Last thing I want to talk about along with this topic is, you know, I worked with Zero Gravity, you know, and it just didn't work. What they're really saying is, I didn't follow it because I don't like the fact that you're being strict and telling me I can only eat this, this, and this. So I'm going to get another coach. Now, there's a lot of good coaches. I promise you this, that there's no new food. We all do the same thing, folks. The difference is, is whose personality do you get along with and who are you willing to trust? I have 150 some odd pro cards to prove that my theory works. So does Kimoto and so does everybody else whose athletes listen and follow directions. Alright guys, thank you for listening. Again, as always, if you have any other topics you'd like to hear Ray go on a rant on, leave them down below. Give us that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to continue watching. Hashtag angry coach.